Hello, tubers. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. And thank you for watching Cooper's Thai Adventures. I am all by myself, all by my lonesome. Nobody wanted to join me, Darlene says. I got a pile of ironing to do, baby. Guess what? Um, you're going to do the live stream by yourself. So I am here all on my Todd, all by myself, here on Cooper's Thai Adventures live stream. And tomorrow, our good friend James has invited myself, Brooke, Jackie, Darlene, and a couple of our friends, Jeff and his lovely wife, and we are going to his new pool villa. He's just rented a pool villa out here, and he's got a barbecue, and he says the pool is actually eight foot deep. So I'm really, really looking forward to going uh, to James' pool, because our pool is only four and a half, five feet deep maximum. Uh, just comes to the top of my chest right about there, and I'm six foot tall. So uh, it's going to be great to have a barbecue. It's going to be our first barbecue in Thailand. Never had a barbecue in Thailand since we've been here so absolutely great to meet up with james and um have a barbecue with him and the girls and gonna do some karaoke and the guys are gonna drink some beers have some uh ribs and uh go for a swim now onto the ribs we went out to macro today and i bought eight kilos of ribs and these are big sucking ribs they're like this long and then i got the baby back ribs as well um i found in bangkok when we had went to the motor show that there's a good foreigner um supermarket there and in the supermarket they had my favorite um marinade for ribs it's called stubs and it, those of you in the west may heard of it it's in a little jar about the size of a tabasco size jar and i use it to marinate ribs and i used to use um make barbecues almost every weekend in Thailand, uh, sorry, in Kuwait for those that work for me. It was my way of saying thank you for doing a good job, folks. And we'd have barbecue at our house several times a month. And uh, everybody loved my ribs. I'm sort of famous for them. And I found stubs here. So we went out, bought eight kilos of ribs today, and they're sitting in the refrigerator right now behind me. Big stack like this of ribs, yeah, uh, ready for the barbecue for tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be a great day, and I'm going to video it. James said, why don't you video my new place and show it to your subscribers? So I said, sure, I will, and we're going to go for a pool day, a barbecue. So it's going to be a fun, exciting video that we're going to video tomorrow for the YouTube channel. So let's get started on today's show. Uh, that was uh, sort of the week that was this week. Um, I did... We did go yesterday again to the car show, and the reason we went is because Everest here, the Ford Everest, has um, released finally the V6 Everest, and I love V6 engines. Went up there thinking, I'm going to trade my truck in, I'll pay a little bit of difference, and I'll get this new Everest V6 SUV. Well, we got up there, and um, lo and behold, they said, yes, you can, uh, you can buy it. And you could trade in your truck and we'll give you X amount and all this. And I was sort of happy with the figures and the difference I'd have to pay. And then they told me, um, yep, you can expect your delivery February of next year. I said, what? That's no good to me. So I kept my truck, kept my money in the bank. And I said, nope, um, I'll wait till you get a steady load of them because I'm not waiting and going without a vehicle for 10 months here in Thailand. <laughs> So, uh, fun week this week has been, and my eyes are still healing. Um, the redness is gone, folks. As you can see, the redness is gone a bit, but uh, it's still watering like crazy, and everything's still blurred unless I'm wearing my glasses. So, who we got on here? We got Scott Gein. He says, morning, Cooper. Hope you're well from Scott, New Zealand. Get in there, Scott, and thank you for coming on to today's live show. Jerry says, hello, Coop, Darlene, and Brooke. Hope you're doing better, Coop. Thank you, Jerry. Yeah, it's just me on my own. Darlene's the other side of the screen doing the ironing. Said, whatever you do, don't turn the camera around. <laughs> and Brooke's at home probably watching um, some old 1960 TV series that we were talking about today in the car when we went to Macro. Poor Man's Passport Guide says, hey, gang, 40 degrees here in the Bay Area. I will be in Thailand Hot in another month. Cheers. And it is hot today in Thailand, uh, Passport Guide. Um, 
we were went out to macro today. Like I said, it was uh, 36 degrees, but it felt like 45. The humidity is getting up there. And Songkran is starting uh, on the 14th of April. It's going to be the first day of the water party, so they're telling us. Um, and every area is going to have different days uh, that they do it. So looking forward to that, except if you're in Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai came out in the news in the last week and said, um, for those that want to celebrate Songkran here, there's going to be no alcohol and no smoking. So no cigarettes, no alcohol for uh, Songkran in Chiang Mai. Wow, thank God I'm here in Pattaya. <laughs> Going out and having fun and having a nice cold beer to go with it really, really makes the difference. Roger Walker says, good morning, good evening, Cooper. Good morning uh, to you, Roger Walker, and good evening here from Cooper. Pete J says, on your loathsome coops, time to play, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I should get out the PlayStation and watch you, let you guys watch me uh, play on the PlayStation. Been playing a couple good games uh, recently. There's a patch that's downloaded, uh, full, that's downloadable now for God of War. So I've been doing that. It's a bit repetitive, that ending. Um, so... Uh, yeah, it's taken me a little while because I don't like repetitive things. I like uh, fun things that keep going and the, the storyline. Heath McDaniel says, morning from Knoxville, Tennessee. Good morning, Heath. Thank you for coming on and joining us from Knoxville, brother. Um, Hakuna Hakuna says, hello to all. Evening, Coop, and good evening to you, Hakuna. Thank you for coming on to the live stream, Bachelor Biology. Good morning, Darlene Brooke Cooper and Cooper's Army. Another 25 degrees Celsius, 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Sunny day here on the eastern uh, west coast. Do they have sweet baby rays barbecue sauce in Thailand? Mm, ribs, yes, they do. And um, I think, I can't remember, what was the name of the barbecue sauce I bought, honey? It was the hickory one. Um, I've actually got it here at the side. Uh, this is the one I bought. And it is uh, McCormick Grillmates Vintage State, uh, Smokehouse Barbecue Sauce. And it's really, really good. So I got that to put on the ribs. Uh, they're sitting in the fr refrigerator right now, marinating. And then in the morning, I'll flip them over and put some more uh, marinating um, sauce on there and get straight in uh, to the barbecue at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon is when we're going to be doing the barbecue ribs. Uh, v Dig says, hope uh, not to iron anything when in Thailand. No, my wife, she loves ironing, uh, V Dig. Um, and uh, as far as ironing out here, uh, those that don't like ironing send their uh, clothes to the laundromat, uh, launderette, whatever country you're from, which one you want to call it. And uh, they'll iron it for you as well. So uh, really, really good. Expired Passport Bro says, eight kilos of rib ribs. Brooks will be shocked, and he will. <laughs> I think my ribs are world famous. Everybody loves Cooper's ribs. Uh, New Wave says, good morning, Brooke, Cooper, and Darlene. Cooper, hope your eye is getting better. Slowly, the redness is going away, but the blurred vision and the leaking is still there, unfortunately. And the doctor says, it'll be about another two weeks, and I should be back to normal. Vincent says, hey, is it necessary to get a throwaway ticket if you are a Thai elite visa five years? No, uh, you are then exempt. Uh, member and plan to stay in Thailand for a few months without leaving. No, if you're on a, uh, Vincent, if you're on a elite visa, then uh, the elite visa, you do not have to do the, uh, a throwaway ticket when you come to Thailand. No, it's a visa valid for five years. So no need for that, brother. You can come on a one-way ticket. Yeah. And my wife says, your priority. <laughs> and you even get a free limousine, yes. Uh, do you want to be on the live stream, honey, or you just want to talk in the background? <laughs> I'll turn the camera around and let everybody see you ironing. Uh, the passport guide. Mm, yes, barbecue ribs. I love my ribs. I really do. I just need to find somebody that knows how to make some good potato salad. And pork and beans. I miss uh, both of them for a barbecue. Alpha Romeo says, hello, everyone. Coop, your eye is looking much better. Thank you, Romeo. Really appreciate it. Be glad when this damn thing's over with. It's a pain in the neck. Uh, Lost Boy says, hello, tubers from South Florida. Hello, Lost Boy from South Florida. Um, I did bump into you once at our meet and greet. And um, 
when I turned around to talk to you some more, you'd already left, but uh, you left us some goodies. So thank you for that, Lost Boy, and hope to see you back here soon so that we can actually sit down and have a beer and a chat and get to know each other a lot better. Greg Smith says, good morning from Pittsburgh. Cold here, Pittsburgh. Yes, go Steelers. Very cold this time of year in Pittsburgh. Uh, my brother's in Buffalo. He says it's pretty cold over there, too. Expired passport, bro. Coop, why didn't they tell you from the start about the 10-month waiting period? Surely they knew that. And that's the thing, uh, passport, bro. I went to, originally to the show. I saw the car. I fell in love with it. I, we got in a day early because of uh, being a YouTuber. They wanted all the free publicity, so they gave us media passes, let us go in a day early. Fine and dandy. But when you're in that day early, there's no sales reps to talk to, you know. And um, we went to the Ford dealer here in Patia when we came back. And uh, they said, yeah, you can uh, you can get the car. We don't have one in the showroom, but there's one in Bangkok at the car fair. You can go look at it. It's like, great, we'll shoot back up there and go look at it. And uh, they, I said, uh, what's the waiting list like for this car? They said, two months. No problem, two months. I'm okay with two months. Uh, no sweat. So when we went up there, it was completely different kettle of fish. And they said, uh, we'll get it if we're lucky, January, if not February uh, next year. <laughs> so that's where we left it. And we walked out and said, I'm not waiting that long for a freaking car. No way. New Wave says, hot is good. I'm in three Celsius in Toronto. Wow, three Celsius. That's the right temperature between two and three degrees Celsius when snow comes. So uh, look out the window. You might have some snow on the way, brother. Joanne Ballou says, good morning, evening, Cooper, Darlene and Brooke. Good to hear your eyes are getting better. Wow, it's hotter than, <laughs> and she cuts off right there. Wendy says, good morning from uh, me and Dennis and Wendy. So thank you, Dennis and Wendy, for coming on here. Great couple. Met them. They came out for a very short vacation. Uh, really looking forward to them coming back later on this summer. Tuik P. Hello, Tuik P. Says, hey, evening, Coops. Evening, Tuik. Thanks for coming on, brother. Bootney says, good morning, all. Good morning, Bootney. Joanne says, oops, hotter than uh, when we were there, and we found it so hot. Enjoy, and a big hello to everyone from Montreal, Canada. And it is. Uh, April, Joanne, is the hottest month of the year here in Thailand. And uh, that's one of the reasons they have the water festival to uh, bring on a swift uh, and quick start to the rainy season, because when the rainy season comes, it cools down everything, and uh, it's really, really nice. I love the rainy season out here in Thailand, and when we say rainy season, it's not something that, you know, you're going to have buckets of rain for days on end, nonstop. No, no, no. The rainy season here in Pattaya, which is one of the best places in Thailand to be for the rainy season, because we get the least amount of rain, in my opinion, from where I've been all over Thailand. Um, very, 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 very rarely do we get uh, floods here. Uh, the rain lasts predominantly 30 minutes, maximum an hour. And then the sun comes out, the clouds disappear, and it's like it never rained, but it knocks down the humidity, and it's beautiful outside. Absolutely fantastic time of the year to be a, be here. And all the tourists are gone, too. So it's just the retirees here, and it's, it's, it's great. It's great. No waiting in lines for anything. It's my favorite time of the year. Julie Perkins says, hello, good evening, everyone, from Adrian and Julie. Adrian and Julie, thank you for coming on to today's live stream. Bachelor of Biology says, sweet baby rays, sweet and spicy rocks. And yes, sweet and spicy does rock, uh, but my wife doesn't like spicy Bachelor of Biology. So um, I had to get the, uh, the hickory flavor, which I know she loves. Uh, good coffee. I love my coffee. Pete Jace, next, he says, I wonder if it's possible to find a meat brander which will uh, sear the Bitcoin logo into your ribs. <laughs> Bitcoin is actually doing pretty good, Pete. Um, I reckon we're going to have a very strong weekend. Uh, there's been some fantastic news uh, in regards to um, in BlackRock. They've now got these top banks that want to get in involved on it. They've made a new filing with the SEC 
and everything's looking rosy. So uh, I'm expecting this to be a very big year, probably the biggest year Bitcoin's ever seen. So fingers crossed for that. And this is not financial advice. This is just my opinion, by the way, folks. Dennis L says, do you know how much the elite visa costs? Uh, they did go up, Dennis, and the prices went up. Um, I think it was like 600000 and now it's $800,000 um, for... For five years, my wife's just saying. And then uh, they, the 10 year, the 15 and the 20 obviously goes up in price for that accordingly. Um, it's a fantastic visa for those um, that are under retirement age, I'd say. It's a fantastic visa for that. It's a fantastic visa for those digital nomads out there that want to come out here and they work online and they can live anywhere in the world. And uh, they're not ready for retirement yet, but it lets them stay in Thailand for five years, 10 years, 15, 20 years. And uh, that is the length of the elite visa. But it's uh, you're putting 800,000 baht in and you never see a penny of that back. Not like with the retirement visa, you put your 800,000 in. If you want to leave Thailand and uh, go to a different country to retire, you get your money back. It's in your bank account. You control it. So uh, plus and minuses for both. Uh, Ron Dottie says, good morning. Just sold my house in Denver, Colorado and should be there in late June. Is it possible to get a condo a, a condo in Disagram Part 2 for 15,000 baht for a one bedroom? And yes, Ron, that is about the going price. 15,000 baht here for a one bedroom now. Uh, there's not many left. Um, most of them have been sold. The developer's got a handful that he hasn't sold and uh, they'll be renting them out, he's assured me. So uh, they should be uh, no problem in the month of June. You're in the low season and you'll be able to get one here at this pri at that price range. Uh, I have had other subscribers reach out to me and ask me to get in touch with the developer here. I've spoken to him and he says, please don't give out my personal number, my personal details. Um, as they're very busy, they have a brand new uh, complex they're working on right now, just at Grand Park 3, um, which is just down the road from us. Uh, we go past it every time we go to Sukhumvit Road. And they also have a housing project that they're working on uh, where they're building pool villas. So uh, the guy's very busy and um, he wouldn't have the time to answer any phone calls from our subscribers. So he's asked me not to give his number out. But um, the only thing I can do, Ron, is um, is tell you get in touch with Sean. Sean uh, has several units here. Uh, available and he can rent them out to you. And that's about the price range he's charging to, I think, uh, 15,000 baht. And uh, that would be the best way of moving forward. If you wanted to live here in Coopersville with uh, 42 of our subscribers now, it's growing. Plain Dave, welcome Black Pla Plain Dave. I haven't seen you for a while, brother. Says, good morning, Cooper. My relocation to Thailand is getting closer. Can't wait to be part of Coopersville community in person. Can't wait to meet you because you're another plane enthusiast, same as I am. Dennis L., how big is the Thai currency? Can it fit in a minimalist wallet like a Ridge wallet? <laughs> well, the Thai currency is actually going up, Dennis, against the U.S. dollar. Um, it's currently at 36 and a half baht to the U.S. dollar. Um, the last time I put it on the YouTube channel, it was... Uh, below 36, about 35 and a half. So that you may think that one bot doesn't make a lot of difference. You're changing over a thousand dollars. That one bot makes a lot of difference. So uh, that's a thirty dollar difference in your exchange money that you get from changing from U.S. dollars to Thai bot now. Uh, so you're getting an extra thirty dollars uh, worth of Thai bot. Not bad, huh? Michael Swiss, uh, Swiss says, "Good morning from Kentucky. Good morning, Michael." New Wave, are there buses from Bangkok airports to Jom Tien? Yes, there are. Uh, are these uh, bot buses? Can I get them anytime? Uh, no, the bot buses are pickup trucks here in New Wave. And they got a couple of steps and a couple of benches with a canopy over the top. That's what we call a bot bus. Uh, the buses you'll be getting from Bangkok are the big sort of Greyhound buses we have in the West um, with air con and reclining seats and a toilet on board, and it's not very expensive. Brooke does it uh, quite regularly going on the bus to Bangkok, 
And uh, I want to say it's under it's under five U.S. dollars to go from Bangkok to here uh, to Jom Tien via bus. Not bad. Really, really cheap. And uh, you can also get it from Swanapum Airport in Bangkok. Uh, they do have the uh, bus there that goes to Jom Tien and Pattaya bus station. Really, really good service. And it's 24 hours, by the way. Wendy, we had a 4.8 earthquake yesterday. Never experienced that before. Yeah, uh, New York had a, uh, I think it was a five uh, pointer earthquake. Taiwan had a seven and a half, um, 7.5 earthquake just uh, last week. Um, about a dozen people passed away, but it could have been a lot worse at 7.5. That's a huge earthquake. And a lot of people, Wendy, are equating that to the solar eclipse that we got full solar eclipse coming on Monday, Monday the 8th. And um, they're saying that because the sun and the, uh, and the moon are moving in line in orbit with the earth, it's causing some seismic anomalies. And uh, that's what they're equating it to. I have no idea. I'm not a geologist, but I'm glad you and Dennis are both okay. And uh, thank you for coming on the live stream and letting us know that you're both well. Chris Wheeler says, Hoppy Sun Cron, enjoy the ribs. Can't imagine not barbecuing for a year. Well, um, <laughs> I can't either, Chris. I love my barbecues. Um, living in a condominium, there's rules and regulations that you got to follow. You just can't put a barbecue on the balcony. People uh, upstairs from you will complain about the smoke and everything else. And uh, the smoke from the from the barbecue uh, may damage the floor of the balcony above you, black scarred marks, all that sort of stuff. So uh, you got to uh, pick a, your place where you can do barbecues. Some beaches here will let you barbecue, though. There's a beach that we like to go to back down by Banks Array. They do actually have barbecues on the beach. You just bring your own charcoal and your own food. And Bob's your uncle. Cook your own barbecue. Fantastic. Uh, Greg Smith says, what's the best way to transfer money to Bangkok Bank from a U.S. bank? Uh, so... Um, to a Bangkok bank from a U.S. bank. Uh, it's for retirement visa, get prepared. Um, okay, uh, Greg, the only way you can open a Thai bank account is you have to come here and physically be in Thailand, unfortunately. So um, you'd have to come as a tourist, open a bank account, um, and then uh, set up a wire transfer from your bank in America to you, your Thai bank here. Once you open your bank account, Greg, immediately that you open it, you get the ATM book, you get your savings book, you get your routing number, your um, your IBAN number, all that is going to be, and your account number is going to be given to you then and there. There's, there's no waiting, no messing around. You don't have to wait days. You're going to get it the moment that you open that bank account, which is fantastic with Bangkok Bank. And then what I did is I uh, transferred my money from the Philippines into my Thai bank account, and I was able to satisfy immigration that way. And um, you can open a bank account on a tourist visa. You don't have to be a permanent resident here. You can do it uh, on visa on arrival that you'll get because you're a U.S. citizen, Greg, and it's really straightforward and easy. The agents here are fa are fantastic because you're visa exempt. Um, you, you'll you'll fall under that category, and you can open it here, um, get the money transferred, and then start your retirement visa. After that, you can get your bank account open in uh, uh, very quick. Uh, I got mine open on the same day that I went, so uh, not bad. Easy to do, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, as we like to say. Andrew uh, says, good evening, friends. Is it better to get your retirement OA in the U.S. or wait till you get to Thailand to get and get the O? I always say, Andrew, it's better to wait till you get to Thailand. And let me just wet my whistle here. And the reason I say it's better to do it in Thailand is because you don't have to go through the red tape that you do if you're doing it outside of Thailand. The red tape that you have to go through is you're going to have to get in touch with your Thai consulate or your Thai embassy near where you live. They're going to want you to do a police background check. They're going to want you to do a medical check. They want to see your bank statements, all that sort of stuff. And then they want you to get medical insurance on top of that before they even approve you to come over here. And this medical insurance that they want you to get, there's like 
five different providers, uh, this list that the embassy will give you or the consulate. And it's really not worth the paper that it's written on. Everybody says that. Everybody says that. It's not me saying it. It's, it's all, all the vloggers out there, uh, all the subscribers I've met that have done it as well. They're all saying it's not worth the paper it's written on. Uh, it doesn't really cover you for anything. And it's just a waste of your your dollar, your hard-earned you know money that you, you save for. When you come here to Thailand, you're going to come here as visa exempt, Andrew, uh, because of your U.S. citizen. And um, what's going to happen to you is you're going to get your 30-day uh, stamp in your passport. You can uh, then go see an agent here. No medical check. No criminal record check, um, no bank statements needed, no medical insurance needed, and you just pay the fee and you get it. That's why I say it's better because it saves you money, folks. I know some people would rather do it in their home country, and that's that, that more power to them if that's something that you want to do. But at the end of the day, uh, I'm here to give you my opinion on the best way to save you all money, and uh, the best way by far for me is do it here in Thailand. It's a lot of less red tape. You go to the agent. Um, they take you to the bank account, they, uh, to the bank. They open your bank account. They take you to immigration. You take two passport photos. Wait three weeks. You get your passport back, your retirement visas in there. There's no paperwork to do, nothing. It's just that easy. The agents take care of it for you. You couldn't ask for a simpler way to get a retirement visa, in my opinion. And Rocco Faco says, good afternoon from Northern Norway. Thank you for joining us from Norway. Just checked the forecast for Pattaya, and I must say that 30 plus Celsius sounds much better than the minus seven Celsius we have here, plus a few meters of snow. I can't blame you. I prefer the heat to the snow any day of the week. Uh, there's nothing worse with red freezing ears, your nose uh, freezes, your lips freeze, uh, your toes are freezing and your fingers are freezing. Ah, oh, I, I, I hated the snow. Absolutely hated the snow. Uh, I am a beach babe all the way, 100% through beach baby. You know, I uh, grew up in uh, East Coast, uh, you know, um, oh, sorry, West Coast, California, and absolutely loved it. I go to Santa Monica uh, Beach, Venice Beach, and then uh, down to uh, Black's Beach in San Diego, my three favorite beaches. And I was a bit of a surfer, had long hair. You guys wouldn't believe it. I could show you my driver's license from when I was 21. My hair was as long as Darlene's. I mean, it touched my belly button. It was that long. I was into heavy metal and all that and motorbikes and surfing. And <laughs> that's about as far as I'll go for my history of my childhood days. Market Focus says, hello, tubers. Cooper is solo cholo tonight. I am. I got nobody with me. Nobody loves me. I'm here all by myself, Market Focus. So get the questions coming to this and or topic that you guys like to talk about. A lot of crazy things going on in this world right now. What the heck is happening? Um, I don't know. There's talks of France going into Ukraine and NATO getting involved there. Then there's talks of Israel wanting to... Uh, fight with Iran and Iran's going to be sending rockets over. Uh, the news is just going absolutely crazy. Uh, I hope there's not a, a new Middle East war. I got a lot of good uh, defense contractors over there that I know are still working there that used to work for me. And uh, I would hate for anything like that to happen. Um, crazy times, crazy times. Uh, I try and just live in the land of uh, smiles and Keep it at the back of my mind and try not to worry about it. Just that concentrate only on retirement. It's such a great thing. Y'all are going to love it when you get here and join us. Andy Smith says, hi, all back for another holiday in three weeks. In three years, it'll be to retire, not holiday. Great, uh, Andy. See you in three weeks, buddy. Be great to meet you in person. And three years, that's not long, buddy. It's going to go super quick. Dennis L., I was referring to the actual size of bills fitting in your wallet. Sorry, Daniel. Uh, Dennis, uh, my eyes are still quite blurry. But yeah, it, they're, they're not big bills. I mean, this is my wallet. It holds U.S. dollars. And that right there, 1,000 baht note, is about the sa same size as a 20 U.S. dollar note. Not much difference. I think they're about standard size. And they fit into the wallet nice and easy. 
So, yeah, you'll have no problem fitting them in there. And if you're talking about one of those little miniature wallets that you can fold it in with a clip, yeah, they fit in there too. I know several people that have them. Sorry about that, Dennis. Al says, evening, Coops and Darlene. Evening, Al. You should come upstairs and join me on the live stream, buddy. Darlene's doing the ironing in the background. Says, I'm not going on camera tonight. I got too much ironing to do, so you're going to have to do it by yourself. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> uh, Pete J, is there a time limit for inactivity on Thai bank accounts? Just thinking for those who might make it across, but then it takes them ages before they can revisit for their permanent move. Um, not so much a time limit, Dennis. Uh, what they do is they have what's called a inactivity limit. Uh, so what I would do is transfer $10 a month. As long as there's an activity going through, they ain't going to cancel it. Okay. You don't have to worry about making any withdrawals. Just transfer 10, 20, 30, $50 a month over and then don't worry about it. You can even do it with Wise Card. Put it on a Wise Card and then transfer it to your Thai bank account, and then you don't have to worry about it being inactive for too long. And they just close your bank down, your bank account down. New Wave says, "If I get the retirement visa, do I have to continue living in Thailand, or I can go out and return as needed?" You can go out and return as needed. Uh, New Wave, um, you. you um, what you do is you will, you can get what's called a multiple entry retirement visa, and that allows you to go in and out of Thailand as much as you want. Uh, if you don't get that, it costs 5,000 baht. It's not a lot of money. It's like, uh, um, hundred, uh, and 50 us dollars for the year, uh, stamp lets you go in and out as much as you want. Um, you can also, uh, go, get the single entry going out of Thailand. Um, and all you have to do is be back like two weeks, Singh says, before your retirement visa expires to be able to renew it. So uh, not an issue. You can come and go as much as you want, but make sure you're back two weeks before your retirement visa expires. So he's got time to renew it for you. And then you can go, go out again and travel around Asia and use Thailand as a home base. No problem there. New wave. Pete J says, I hate the cold as well. When it gets warm, I sun myself like the lizards uh, you see in the BBC documentaries. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a, a cold person. Prefer the heat. Prefer the heat. Dennis L., my favorite metal band is Metalla and Megadeth. What's yours? <laughs> well, when I was young, it was Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden was my favorite, followed by ACDC, Black Sabbath. Um, I loved... Uh, Quite a few. Um, went to many heavy metal concerts. Boy, would the years have changed. I don't listen to it anymore. I really don't. I, I, I listen to chart music like my wife does. We'll be driving in the truck or something, and she'll put the radio on, whatever's playing I'm listening to. But yeah, um, I was a big metal head back in my youth, in my high school days. Greg Smith says... Uh, is it better to get an agent on where you're going to live or is it okay to get an agent in Pattaya for a retirement visa? Um, sort of double-edged question there. Let me have another look at this, Greg. Is it better to get an agent on where you're going to live or is it okay to get an agent in Pattaya for a retirement visa? Um, you can get an agent anywhere um, in Thailand uh, to get a retirement visa. Um but um, when you get your retirement visa, you're going to have a TM-30 for where you're living. And if you go to another area in Thailand, you have to get another TM-30 at immigration. Um, it's free. It doesn't cost a penny. It's just a slip of paper that you put in your passport and it says where your address is. Um, so if you're going to a hotel or a condo or something like that, uh, they'll do it for you. You don't even have to worry about it. You just give them your passport at the desk and... Uh, Next day, you go back to the desk, your passport's there with your TM-30 in it. It's very straightforward and easy, uh, Greg. But you can get a retirement visa anywhere in Thailand, and um, you can do a 90-day report anywhere in Thailand. So very, very easy. 
S uh, so so pepper company says hey coop and darlene uh we were on black beach almost every day when i was stationed in san diego yeah <laughs> and a uh, great place and we miss it see you soon great they're coming out here It'd be fantastic to meet you both and um the thai law for the gay marriages has passed that's it it's official. It's passed both houses. It's now on the king's desk for him to give the royal assent. And then it's passed into law. So absolutely great for those that have partners that are younger than them and they're in same-sex marriages. They got married in the West. It's now going to be accepted in Thailand as soon as the king puts his uh, stamp on that piece of paper. So fantastic news there. And I remember one time, So So Pepper Company, um, we left from Santa Monica Beach. And uh, it was uh, during spring break from high school. I was in my sophomore year. And I borrowed my dad's pickup truck. We went with our surfboards down to the beach. And uh, we were riding the waves. And we've been there since 4 o'clock in the morning. And now it's about 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And we're hungry. Okay. So we uh, catch the wave into the beach. But guess what? This was my first experience, by the way. We ended up in Black Speech. Now, for those that don't know Black Speech out there, a certain part of it is a nudist speech. Now, I'm 15 years old, 16 years old. Uh, I'm coming in on my surfboard. We we land on the beach. They got the lifeguard sitting in the chair. He blows his whistle at us, comes down his chair and said, excuse me, boys. You're going to have to take those wetsuits off if you want to walk across this great beach. And uh, we looked around and all we could see was naked bodies all over the place. Most embarrassing time of my life. I, I, well, what are we going to do? Uh, try and get 20 miles back up the coast uh, via the sea uh, against the tide? Not a chance. We all had to take our wetsuits off. I'm walking with my board in front of me like this. Uh keeping it as tight to my body as humanly possible. And probably uh, the most embarrassing I've ever had is my time as a teenager living in California. <laughs> True story of that. Nate Kidd says, would you suggest locking in a condo contract or doing the retirement visa first? Uh, or does it matter which one you do first? Um, well, by law, you're supposed to have the condo your accommodation sort of before you do the retirement visa by law. Um, but there are agents that can do workarounds for that and um, help you out in that. Because when we came here, um, we stayed at a condo uh, for one month, Nate, and we found it wasn't the right place for us. Okay. Um, it was too noisy, struggled to get a parking space for the scooter. Uh, it was too crowded. Uh, the internet was terrible. Um, I'd wake up in the morning to have a cup of coffee on the balcony and people are having sex in the pool, you know, um, you know, no respect. And I thought to myself and my wife did too, we ain't staying here. So, um, so we then moved to where we are now. But, um, during that first week that we were here at the other place, we'd already filed for the retirement visa. So, um, it wasn't a problem. Most agents uh, will be able to work with you on it. You're supposed to have a minimum of a six-month agreement by law. I have to put the legal aspect out there uh, before you can apply for the retirement visa. Um, some places are stricter than the others. Some are not in enforcing the rules out here in, in Thailand. For example, Phuket, extremely strict. Patia, Jomtia, not so much. Uh, so depending where you go, not all immigration centers are the same. But this one here in Jom Tien is a little bit more lenient than I would say other places. And they work with you. They work with you. So um, get yourself a good agent. Nate. Market Focus says, does Mr. Singh also do retirement visas for Bangkok or is it just Pattaya? Um, Market Focus, your retirement visa is valid anywhere in Thailand. Okay. He works out of the Pattaya area, Pattaya Jomtin area. You can get a, a retirement visa here and then move to Bangkok, uh, move to Udon Thani, move to Chiang Mai, move to Wah Hin, move to Phuket, wherever the heck you want to live in Thailand, uh, your retirement visa is valid. You just start doing your 90-day reports at your new place. That easy. That's uh, how it works out here. Not really a problem. 
Daryl Farney says, did I hear properly? Did you mention a Copa Cabana 2 is being built? Yes, so. Yes, sir, I did, Daryl. If so, any details? I was away from my PC, but I thought you heard you mention it. Yes, Copa Cabana 2 is in the process of being built, but it's in its very, very, very uh, early stays, stages there, Daryl. Um, I went past there just today, and uh, they're only just putting the girders in the ground. So it's going to be a while before that Copacabana 2 is finished. Uh, I think they're saying somewhere around about 2026 uh, before it's finished. So you're looking uh, at least two years away. But yeah, it is getting built. Um, I had some people in my channel say, hey, Cooper, that condo that you showed, um, you know, the extra large one bedroom and the extra large two bedroom, it's going to be blocked by Copacabana 2. No, 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 it's not. Copacabana 2 is going to be uh, right next to the um, to the Riviera, um, and it's not. There's no condos uh, that's going to be behind it that's going to lose their beach view. None. Uh, I know the area like the back of my hand. I know exactly where that building's going, and it's not going to affect anybody's sea view if you have a condo out here. Uh, nothing to worry about, I can promise you, because I know the location like the back of my hand. I've filmed over um, 90 different uh, complexes out here now, 90. Plain Dave says, is Farang Thai Visa still in business? Yes, Lana is still in business. I've emailed them several times with no response. Thanks. And that, and that was my problem, Plain Dave. Um, I was actually re recommended to Thai Farang Visa. And they're an excellent company. I use them for my retirement visa. But when I was in the Philippines, I kept sending them messages on Facebook Messenger and asking them questions like, what do I need to bring? You know, do I need to bring bank statements? Do I need to bring this? Do I need to bring that? Um, you know, copy of my health insurance. I didn't know. I knew just about as much as you guys did. Um, and um, all I kept getting was, come to our office. I'm not in... Thailand. I'm in Philippines. What do I need to bring with me? Come to our office. That's all I got. And it drove me freaking nuts. But they are a great company. Uh, they just don't have the manpower to deal with people that are outside the country. They'd rather deal with you here when you're sitting in front of them. Uh, they just don't have the manpower to answer everybody's questions out there. And I can understand it. Um, it's a small little office, but they do a fantastic service. Lana, Love her to bits. Uh, great person. Um, they did mine and Brooks' retirement visa. So what I've done is I've actually recommending people get in touch with Singh. Singh's got WhatsApp. He's got Line. He's got email. He's got Facebook. You can you, you can get. He's giving his cell number. You guys can contact him, and he will answer you uh, on the same exact day that you message him. You send him an email, he's going to reply. You send him a WhatsApp message, he's going to reply. And you're going to get the answers that you need. And that's why uh, Singh is number one in my book here in Thailand because of the customer service. He simply can't be beat. Yes, he is more expensive than the rest. I have to put that out there. But you get what you pay for. You want the best, pay for the best. You know, uh, if you want somebody else that's smaller, does a fantastic service, same as what Singh does, but you're not going to get that uh, customer service experience uh, before and after like uh, you would with Singh, then you guys can go with them too. I'm not telling you who to go with. I'm just telling you who, in my opinion, is the best based on uh, what they services they offer and also the customer feedback. Fantastic. Everybody's giving them a five plus review. Rick says, hey, Coop, Darlene, and all your. <laughs> My wife's just interrupted me. She's tapping the key on top of the uh, laptop and says, babe, tell them to hit the thumbs up. If they like all this great advice you're giving them, tell them to give them the tap the thing. So there's only 18, she says, 18 people 18, thumbs up. 18, 19. And 89 people watching. Yes, please, if you're watching, please give us the thumbs up. Really appreciate it. It doesn't cost you a penny. Um, Rick says, hey, Coop, Darlene, and all your Coop or troopers. It's been a while since I was there, but I had an accident. I broke my Harley and uh, my Ram and a few ribs, but I'm back. Wow. Be careful, buddy. Be careful. Stop trying to lean around those left-hand corners, which... Harleys don't like. <laughs> I found that out the hard way when I was a young buck. 
So if you're watching, make my wife happy. Hit the thumbs up, and that'll stop her from bugging me while I'm on the live stream. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm going to get slapped after this. Scott Gein says, yes, Greg, uh, get agent a lot, lot, lot easier, he says. A lot easier. I thought I said LOL there. My eyes are still funny. Nate Kidd, I plan to use Sean and Mr. Singh. Great info. Thanks. Yep, you, um, you're going to do real well with Sean. Um, we've got the Facebook group, and I'll tell you why, Nate. Um, we got the Facebook group down below. It says Cooper's Thai Adventure Community. Real easy to join. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel. You're accepted. Uh, if you don't subscribe, you're not accepted because we don't want bots and we don't want bad people. That's the only reason we say you have to be a subscriber. So click subscribe on the YouTube channel. Go join the Cooper's Thai Adventure Community. We have over a thousand people on there. And here's what I've been noticing in the live chat. We have a live chat on the Facebook group as well, where you can speak to over a thousand of our subscribers. Uh, a lot of them are actually living here in Thailand. And uh, they're all, they've been talking in this last week about using agents and never getting their deposits back. That's a big topic out here. Um, if you use some of these agents or you go so direct to the owners, um, a lot of time you're not going to get your deposit back. There was somebody in the in the live chat on Facebook said, uh, "I've been I've been out here for many years. I've rented five different places. I've never ever got my deposit back." Um, and that's a big one out here. Sean, on the other hand, he has never withheld anybody's deposit, and he is always reimburse their deposit. Whether you're paying a one month deposit or a two month deposit, he's always returned it. And several people are on here right now on this live stream that have used Sean, moved on to other places and got their deposits back. So they can vouch for me. They're actually here in the live stream. I see the names. I'm not going to put them out and put out their personal business. I never do that on the channel. But Nate, that's why I recommend Sean. You're going to get your deposit back. And um, I, I get no kickbacks from this, okay? Sean's a great person. He's helped out a lot of our subscribers. When we had the big dilemma happen here at Disagram Part 2, when a lot of people got ripped off, he jumped up and said, Cooper, this gives us agents here and Patty a bad name. I want to help. And he gave us a list of every single place he had available. He typed it up, took a bunch of time doing it, and said, email all your people um, that are having problems, and we're going to make sure every one of them has a roof over their head. Fantastic. Nobody else here did that. I don't forget a good deed. You know, he did that and he didn't have to. Yeah. And fantastic. That's why I recommend good people like that. Well, because I know there's good Christians, there's good people, good people with good hearts out there. And I respect those people out there that do that and have a conscience, have a heart, and uh, don't try and take advantage of anybody. And that's why both sing and Sean have got my vote of confidence and my thumbs up. Brian Harris says, hi, Coop. Is it a standard practice in Thailand to pay three months money up front when renting? Yes, Brian, you'll normally pay two months deposit and one month uh, rent in advance. So uh, that's uh, normal, the, go the going rate. Some places will only ask for one month uh, deposit. Um, some will ask for two. Um, it just varies between owners. Some owners say, you know, hey, I put in all this expensive stuff. I want two months deposit in case there's any damages. Um, but like I said, with Sean, Brian, you're going to get every penny of that back minus your electricity, your water that you have outstanding and any damages. If there's no, if there's any, what I always do when I move to a condo uh, folks uh, or house, I go around with a video. And I make a video and I take pictures. I see anything with damage. I give it to the agents, right? This has got damage, blah, 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 blah. And I send it to them on like WhatsApp or Line or Facebook or something like that and get them to acknowledge it back in writing. So then when I move out, I can say, hey, that was already there. I sent you the picture in March last year and you acknowledged it right there. There's the picture. And I've never, ever had a problem. It's called CYA, cover your butts. Uh, folks. And that's all I can say about that. But yeah, Brian, depends on the owner. Some want one month, some want two months. Um, I negotiated. I said, I'm not paying. If I'm paying a year in advance, uh, I'll only give you one month deposit. I'm not paying two. And they said, okay, fine. That's fair enough because you're paying that far in advance. Uh, Rune L says, do uh, I have to do the full driving test if I have an international driver's license or can I do the small test? Okay, Rune. Um, 
the driving test you're going to have is so dang easy, it's going to blow your mind. All right, here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to one of these agents, or you can go to the DMV yourself here. Okay, it's up to you. I know people that have done it themselves, and I know people that have used agents. And it's so easy because my wife went through it, and I sat there and watched exactly what she did. She had to do a brake test. Okay, so she sits in this chair. There's a, there's a red, uh, yellow, and then green light. And it's on green. As soon as it goes to red, you push your foot on this pedal that's on the floor in front of you, and it's a reaction time. Um, they give you multiple times to do it. Most people did it on their very first time. And then you have a eye test where, yeah, A, E, J, K, yeah, no, and both eyes. And that's about it. You're done. It's that easy. There's no written test to do. Um, there's no driving test to do if you have an international license or you have a country, your own country license. Same difference. You don't have to do any of that. Um, you just have to sit in a classroom and watch a video. Uh, this one, this one hour, boring, but uh, you sit there and it's in Thai, you ain't going to understand it anyways. So most people just go in there and sit in there and play on their cell phones until the hour's up. And then they do the brake test and then they go downstairs and uh, they get their picture taken and then they get their license that quick. It's so easy. Uh, it takes you a couple hours. That's it. And done and dusted, buddy. That's how easy it is to get a Thai license if you have a foreign license or an international license. Tommy Lee says, good evening, Cooper. Good evening, Tommy. All by my lonesome tonight. Both Brooke and Darlene said, uh, no, we've got other things to do. Cooper, you handle it. You got this. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me have a drink of coffee here, folks. Okay. Love can iron the clothes. My wife just said, love cannot iron the clothes. No, but the woman across the street can as a laundrette. Muhammad Thomas says, uh, good evening, Coops. Thanks for the stream and your time. As always, you guys are always welcome. I love uh, associating with you guys and talking to you, answering your questions, or just being on here to have a laugh and a joke. It's all good in my book. So uh, great to come on and uh, speak to you all. Brian Hare, just thumbs up. Thank you, Brian. Really appreciate it, buddy. Really appreciate it. Uh, Hunka Hunka says, I agree that Singh is as gold. Got my visa and bank account in three days. Excellent communication. See, there you go. Another star witness right there. Um, many people have been on here and told me how uh, great Singh and Sean are. So um, I will keep promoting them until I get bad feedback. Uh, and that's the way I work. If uh, people are just saying, hey, Coop, this guy's great. This guy's great. Uh, I'll keep putting them on the channel. And then uh, if I ever hear any different, then that's when it's time to rethink everything. Plain Dave, many thanks for always providing great information. Very much appreciated. Thanks to Darlene, too, for doing the ironing. There you go. <laughs> Darlene, <babe. laughs> Dave says, thank you for ironing. <laughs> Nobody's going to do it. I told you the woman across the street will do it. No problem. We'll uh, just have to pay her and she'll do it. Uh, Dennis L., do they still ask for a deposit on a one-month stay? Yes, they do, irregardless, because um, at the end of the day, Dennis, um, while you're there, you're going to be using the electricity, you're going to be using the water, okay? And that's their way to make sure that the bill gets paid. They have had tenants stay out here. They haven't paid the deposit, and they left without paying the electric and water. Who gets lumbered with the bill? The owner or the agent. So, yes, you're still required to pay a one month, irregardless, uh, deposit, even if you're staying for only one month. And um, it's for the electric, the water, and any damages. Again, cover your own butt, make a video, take some pictures, make sure everything's tickety boo, the cupboard's not hanging off, uh, there's not a leak down by the toilet or something like that, anything, you know, like that. Uh, crack in a window, a broken mirror, you know, uh, all these sort of uh, silly things, you know, broken door handle, whatever. Um, make sure that uh, you record it all and let them know so they can get it fixed for you and they don't try and charge you. And um, with Sean, like I said, you're going to get your deposit back. Not one person has ever said to me, and I always ask, I always ask my subscribers, you know, because I see them at the meet and greets and I see them around town. Hey, did you know, oh, you moved on. Did you get your deposit back? First question I ask, did you get your deposit back? And they always say, yes, we did. Sean was good. So 
He's got my vote right there. Rodney says, good morning, Coop and Darlene. Brooke, uh, the chat is as great as ever. And thank you for coming on here, Rodney. Really appreciate it. And looking forward to meeting you in person whenever you get time to come out here and say hello. Rune L, how is it uh, to drive on the wrong side of the road? Um, it's not hard, Rune. It really isn't. Um, I lived in both England and America. And uh, switching between back and forth and then going from England to Europe back and forth on the tunnel and the ferry, um, it's, it's not really hard for me. And you'll, you're going to pick it up so quick uh, because at the end of the day, you're going to see which way the traffic's going and you're going to know, okay, they're on that side of the road, they're heading left, or on that side of the road, they're heading right. And it's uh, not very hard to pick up at all. Uh, what I would suggest is get a Bolt, which is an Ubers out here uh, for getting around in for your first couple of uh, trips around so you get your bearings. And then start using the bot bus. It's only 10 bot to use the bot bus between Jomtien and Patia. What's that? 30 US cents. That's how cheap it is to get a bot bus here. And um, it's like seven, uh, five to seven miles, depending how far into uh, Patia you're going. And that's how cheap it is. You, you can't ask for better than that. And you'll find the roads no problem, Rune. Phil T says, good day, Cooper. Missing Thailand. Hopefully be back out in a month or two. Great to have you back out here, Phil. Uh, hope your health is picking up. Yeah, the redness is going, Phil. But the uh, uh, amount of discharge that I'm getting, I uh, call it tears. It's a bit thicker than tears. Um, I hope nobody's eating. And uh, it drives me nuts. I'll be grateful when it stops. The doc said about another week or two, but the redness is going. But uh, with all the um, tears and the discharge, it makes my eyes blurry and it's very hard to read comments on a cell phone. Um, but on the live stream, it's great because I can zoom everything in and I can read all the banners and they're real huge in front of me. So it uh, makes my life a lot easier. And it'd be great to have you back out here, Phil. Alpha Romeo says, Coop, the craziness continues in Phuket. Oh, wow, what's happening out there now, Romeo? Uh, every day there's something different in, in Phuket. I'll tell him that in a second, honey. Uh, Romeo, Darlene just said the new go-kart uh, go track is now open on uh, to Prior Road. We just went past there this afternoon and saw people racing on it. So I got to get my butt on there once these eyes heal. And he says, so many foreigners and locals behaving badly. Always something making the news and not in a positive manner. Absolutely. That's why I don't want to live there, Romeo. Um, it's just got a bad rep. Um, not for me. Not for me. I'd rather just live in the retirement community. Let these young party animals go down there. I'm happy with them down there because they're not head down, up here causing any problems. And us, those of us that live up here and are retired are enjoying the good life stress-free. I hope they stay down there and I hope the problems don't come up this way. New Wave, Cooper, thank you for all the information. You guys are welcome. I love you guys. You're all very, very welcome. Daryl Farney says, Cooper, off the top of your head. Nope, there's nothing left, buddy. All the hair is gone. <laughs> other than Riviera series of condos, can you think of any other pet cat-friendly condos that I can research? Uh, there's quite a few, Daryl. We've made, I would guesstimate, probably about 12, a dozen. Um, you got the Rivieras. You got the Copacabanas. Um, uh, uh, I think there was like five different complexes down in Banks Array that all were pet friendly. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I have a subscriber here. He rents a house and a townhouse here. And um, they are paying, how much are they paying for that townhouse, honey? It's like 14,000 bots. So less than a one bedroom condo here. One average one bedroom is 15,000, by the way. Um, and you can have as big a pet as you want in there. Fantastic, you know. And he's got a, I think it's a three-bedroom townhouse, isn't it, honey? Yeah, three-bedroom townhouse. Yeah. So there's plenty of options there for you, Daryl. And a lot of the agents out here, uh, they have houses to rent as well, uh, not just condos, because I realize some people don't like to live in condos um, because maybe they might have a noisy neighbor. I've, I've never had that problem. Um, 
I do my due diligence, check it out a couple of times different, during different times of the day and see what the noise level is like. Um, but nope, he lives there, absolutely loves it. And he's got uh, uh, a husky. He's got a husky. So a Siberian husky, big dogs. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's plenty of options out there, Daryl, for you. Brian Harris says, always good getting your deposit back as that pays for your next place of accommodation deposit. Yes, it does. And, um, you know, not getting it back, it's a it's a headache. Uh, the first place we stayed at, I got mine back. Brooke didn't. Okay. Um, I think I got mine back because the guy knew I was a YouTuber. And uh, he was like, okay, I don't want to upset him. He'll put it out on social media. But Brooke didn't get his deposit back. Um, I did. So, um, yeah, but now we found Sean, definitely, uh, you know, he's, he's one to take care of you on that one. Steve Gilding says, hi, Cooper, darling, loving the live stream. Great information. Hit the thumbs up button, guys. Yes, please. Thank you for that, Steve. And welcome to the live stream, buddy. Jerry and Jennifer. Hang on. I need another drink. Old throat's getting dry. I got nobody to read out the questions for me or help me with the answers. I wonder how my buddy in the Philippines does this, Sunshine Shoulders. I don't know if any of you know him, but uh, he does live streams almost every other day, and he's only on there by himself and talking by himself. Wow. Um, Jerry and Jennifer says, good morning, Coop and Darlene. Pleased to say we found a spacious 56 square meter, one bedroom at Grand Park. Okay, at Grand Park. Six-month lease. See you in November. Thank you for all info you provide. And that is absolutely great. 56 square meter, one bedroom. Which, which Grand Park? Grand Park 1, Grand Park 2, or Grand Park Condo 2? I think it's the Grand Park on Second Road, if I'm not mistaken. That That's one that Grand we... Grand Park Condo View. Right. I, it was a Grand Park or Grand Park Condo View. There's two of them. I'm not sure which one that is, Jerry and Jennifer. But that that is an excellent deal. And uh, if it's the one I'm thinking of, you're going to have a fantastic sea view there. Scott Gein says, uh, what's Bang Saray like to visit? What? Bang Saray is really nice. Scott, I like to visit there. Um, they got a beautiful little market and little um, fishing village. And then they got the naval base out there. And I like going on to that naval. Anybody can go on to the naval base, okay, folks? Um, it's not restricted for military personnel. And it's got a beach on the naval base. And that's where I was telling you guys where they have the barbecues set up there, the brick barbecues. And you just bring your coal and your food and you chill out there. And there's plenty of picnic tables. Really nice. Some cafeterias there. Nice little beach. The water's a lot clearer than what it is here in Patia and Jomtien. And I've got several subscribers there, Scott, that live there and they like it. Now, some people like it and some people hate it. And it all depends on where you grew up with in your life. If you like the city life, you're going to hate Banks Array. If you like the country life and you grew up in the country life, you're going to love Bangsaray. And it's one of those sort of things. Um, it's a small place, but it is beautiful and um, peaceful, is what I will say. Some people say Patia is too busy, uh, Bangsaray is too quiet, and Jomtian is perfect. Other people say Patia is too, way too busy, Jomtian is busy, but Bangsaray is perfect. So it's all up to each individual person. Go there and check it out. Um, you, you you won't be disappointed. It's a nice, quiet little place and a good place to just to go for a weekend to get away from everything. Dennis L., do you know how far the Grand Florida is from Jom Tien Patia area? Okay, Dennis. Um, we were just there because Brooke and another subscriber of ours, Jeff, wanted me to take them there. And we went there two days ago. And um, it is in Na Jomtien, okay? What is Na Jomtien and Jomtien? Jomtien is Jomtien, the name of the place. Na means south in Thai, okay? The word Na, N-A. So Na Jomtien is south Jomtien. So it's still the same area. Um, it's just a little bit further down the beach. From Grand Florida, if you walked on the beach, don't take the roads. That's too much problem. If you walk on the beach, it would literally take you a seven-minute to 
10 minute maximum depends if you're a very very slow walker um 10 7 to 10 minutes and you're on jump tm beach road where the bot bus runs that that's how close it is it's not that far away if you're on the beach if you're trying to get there through roads you got to go through up to the main road circumvent road come down and then back off the side roads and then the country road there but uh if you're walking along the beach very very easy to get to the bot bus route seven to ten minutes on the beach nice uh with your holding your sandals in your hand get that uh nice cool water going over your feet and uh walk on up to the bot bus route that is how close it is dennis Excuse me. Plain Dave says, uh, it is a real blessing to have folks like Cooper, Darling, and Brooke, thank you very much, willing to do what they do for us to make the transition much more pleasant than going it alone. Many, many thanks. And you guys are so welcome, folks. That's why we started this channel, to help everybody out, as many people as we can, and uh, not ask anything in return other than help you make friends, and hopefully become friends of ours too. That's always a blessing when we meet new people and they become lifelong friends. It's absolutely great. We love it. And that's the best compliment anyone can give us out there, uh, better than a thumbs up or subscribing. So um, is when we make lifelong friends. And that's why we started this YouTube channel. And again, if you want to join the Facebook group, you will speak to over a thousand people on there. Now over a thousand uh, that have joined the Facebook group. and you'll make lots of new friends before you even get here to Thailand. So great plus, plus, plus there. And then we have the meet and greets. Every month we have a meet and greet at uh, Fraser's and um, it gives you opportunity to meet us and also meet some of the subscribers that are out here because they enjoy meeting you too. They remember what it was like when they came to Thailand and they didn't have anybody uh, that they knew um, when they met us. So they remember those days um, and they come to the meet and greets because they like to help out the newbies and make new friends. And it's like, oh, great. We got another guy from Canada. You know, um, there you go. Here's the rest of the Canadian group over here. Here's the Australian, the Kiwis, the British, you know, the Germans, the French, the Italians. We got them all. We got all different nationalities. We got South Africans out here with us. You know, we've got um, Russian people that are part of our community. So, um, and we also have um, people from uh, Ukraine. So, you know, everybody's getting along and that's what I like and that's what I like to promote. Everybody's just having a fun time. One thing we got in common, we're all retirees and we got no time for BS. We just wanna be happy in our retirement and enjoy what uh, years that we have left with other great people around us. So thank you for that plain Dave. Jerry and Jennifer, is the Dusset Grand Park next to Dusset Grand Park too? Yes, it is. And Jerry, and then you have Dusset, um, what's the Dusset on Second Road, babe? Dusset Grand Condo. Then there's Dusset Grand Condo View. So there's actually four Dussets out here. And where we live is Dusset 2, Grand Park 2, and then Dusset Grand Park 1 is opposite us. Eleven projects. This group has eleven total projects, so yeah, it's a big company, um, and that's why we like them and trust them because they're so big. They have a very good reputation. And down to the last question. Wow, really? Already? You guys done asking? <laughs> okay, up to you. Uh, Scott Gein says, "Well said, Plain Dave, Cooper, and Darlene rule. Good people." <laughs> well, you know, we don't rule, but we just want to, you know, at the end of the day, just be friends with y'all. And uh, I really like it when people say, hey, Cooper, if it wasn't for you, I would have never been able to retire to Thailand. Thank you for all your free time and advice. Thank you uh, for answering my emails. Thank you for calling, give, calling me when I gave you my number and answering all these questions and giving up your time. You know, uh, when we get there, we'd like to take you out for a meal. I will say no. You know, you don't need to do that, folks. Just a simple handshake and a thank you is more than enough for us. Chris Wheeler says, any info on the rail system? Uh, Going to spend the last two weeks on the west coast of Koh Samui back up to Bangkok. Well, Koh Samui, there is no rail system. It is an island, Chris. <laughs> so there is no rail system. There's ferry system going to and from Koh Samui. And also uh, airplanes going. Uh, the, uh, Koh Samui does have an airport there. And um, they do have rail system here. Um they have one that goes from the dark side here. Uh, we call it the dark side. It's still Patia. Um, and it goes daily 
uh, I want to say it's about five o'clock in the morning to Bangkok. And then they do have the international train station in Bangkok that goes up to Chiang Mai, uh, down to Chiang Mai, up, uh, sorry, um, up to Chiang Mai, down to Wahin, and all the way down there. Um, it even, and then it even uh, has a uh, service that goes all the way to Malaysia. So it's not too bad. I've not tried it, Chris, um, but I've seen it about. I've not had a chance to try it. But I would like to try it. I want to try that uh, overnight sleeper from Bangkok to Chiang Mai after the um, the burning season is over. I uh, would like to spend a weekend up there in the mountains and just check it out. Scott Gein, love the fruit in Thailand. Yes, the fruit is fantastic. Really good fruit. Uh, try that jackfruit if you get a chance. It's the white one with the black dots in it. Really, really good. I like jackfruit. Um, Andrew says, enjoy the coffee I sent. It's a small thank you for the great info you provide. And I will. Thank you for that so much, Andrew. And that is it. We are at the end of the live stream. That is the final question. So thank you all for coming on to today's Cooper's Tie Adventure. Be back on Wednesday with me and Burke Schneider. Uh, I got to get back into the kitchen and marinate the other side of those ribs for the barbecue tomorrow. And I'm going to make a video and put it on the channel so you all can watch it and uh, see what you think and how my ribs look and uh, the reaction to them that tasting it for the very first time tomorrow. Hopefully nobody ends up in hospital. <laughs> but until next time, wherever you are, thank you all for coming on to Cooper's Tie Adventure live stream. God bless you all. And thank you for the good wishes and the speedy recovery for Cooper's eyes. Really appreciate it. And until next time, wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. God bless you all. And uh, stay tuned. And the last comment, Brian Harry just got in there with one second. Thanks for all your answers today and have a great weekend. You're very welcome, Brian. Scott Gein, good night, Cooper. Good night, Scott. Thank you guys once again. Take care. God bless you all.